Hi, my name is Mohammed, and the ultimate goal of this GoFundMe is to hold Airbnb accountable. I want to raise awareness about our experiences with this multi-billion dollar corporation, and I'm hoping that we can also get some, if not all of our money back for all of the people that have been wronged by Airbnb. I think we need to investigate their business practices, and I think people need to be held accountable at all levels within their corporation. I thought that my experience was unique, but when I went into their Facebook page and scrolled through the comments, I identified that there were thousands of hosts and guests who had similar experiences and worse experiences than me. And then I decided that I wanted to hold them accountable and I learned some new information that made it very difficult for me to hold them accountable, which is called the arbitration clause, which some of us knew about it and some of us did not know about it when we signed up to use their services. But what arbitration is basically means if you want or have a grievance that you want to take to court, you in most cases cannot take them to court and have to go to arbitration, which is basically outside the US court system, meaning that you cannot have a trial by, by jury where you can have your peers listen to your argument and make a decision. But it's basically an association of lawyers who then make the decision and whether you win or lose, you cannot go speak about your experience. And if you're out a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand or hundreds of thousands thinking about, I have to now go invest more money to potentially win, becomes scary and daunting. So a lot of people do not proceed. So as a single person or a couple people going up against a $100 billion corporation, again, with lawyers and lawyers and lawyers for their lawyers, it's very scary. But if we come together, contribute, tell our stories together, I believe we can make it so that they are held accountable, whether it's through regulators, the US government, whoever it may be, we can hold them accountable. And again, hopefully get some of our money back, if not all of our money back. I'm gonna tell you about my experience, which I'm sure you guys, some of you guys have had much worse, worse experiences, but I still wanna share my experience. So my mom lives in a different state. She came in to Texas and I decided I wanted to take her out to do something special. I went on their website and I clicked uh, the verified listings because I believed that these listings had been vetted more uh, I knew that the pictures were taken either by a photographer that works in-house with Airbnb or is contracted by Airbnb. So I just felt it added legitimacy to the listing. I went in, did my research, saw the pictures, looked amazing, great views, reviews were amazing. It was pricey, but I said, you know what? I, I, I wanna take my mom somewhere nice. So I paid close to $700. It was less than 700, but close to $700 for two nights. We arrived at the property. It wasn't what I expected the pictures were taken from angles that misrepresented the listing. And if you know anything about e-commerce and selling products and services, you want to make sure that you're showing the product and service in a way that your customers can make a logical and educated decision and not come or receive the product and think, oh my God, this looks nothing like what I thought it was going to look like. So they did this and when I showed up at the listing, I debated with my mother, you know, are we gonna suck it up? Are we going to go to another hotel? What, what should we do? And we sat there for about two hours and we decided, no, we do not wanna stay here for two nights. So I contacted the host, I contacted Airbnb. They both refused to refund me. Since my time was limited with my mother, I said, listen, they, they'll do the right thing. Let's just get up and leave. And then when I go back home, I'll present my evidence and I'm sure they'll refund me. So I did that. And of course, what happened, they did not refund me. I gave them the opportunity to do the right thing. They did not. I decided to leave a review. <laughs> Guess what they did with my review? They hit it. So now I'm thinking, this is crazy because I made a decision based off of the reviews. And if you're hiding negative reviews, then you're not showing you know, the, the opinions of other people and maybe some of those opinions are the truth, which I believe what I was saying was completely the truth. I was telling my story. So I want to hold them accountable and I need help. And I believe, again, we can do this together if we collaborate. We're going to use the money to hire investigators, journalists, a professional film crew. We're going to interview people and we're going to raise awareness. So I hope you can contribute and I hope you can join me on this journey. Thank you.